Hi, my name is Victoria Miller and I'm one of the Senior Curators of History at National Museums NI. Whilst all of our museums have reopened, most of us are still working from home. And I'm speaking to you today from my home office, which also doubles up as our spare bedroom. With autumn and the harvest season now approaching, I thought it would be a nice idea to have a look at some of the harvest related photographs in our collections. National Museums and I have a vast photographic archive and many photographs are available to view online. So if you like to, what you see today, um, have a look at our website to see many more photographs from our collections. The harvest season traditionally began on Lammas Day at the start of August. In Bally Castle in County Antrim, a Lammas Fair has been held on the last Monday and Tuesday in August for almost 400 years. This photograph from the RJ Welsh collection shows people attending the fair in Bally Castle in 1929. The potato harvest occurred between August and October. Potato picking was a hard and backbreaking job and it was usually carried out by teams of young women and boys. After the potatoes had been picked, it was then time for them to be washed. This photograph from the Welsh collection depicts this process in the glens of Antrim. Once they were washed, the potatoes were taken home to be eaten or to market to be sold. In this photograph from the W.A. Green Photographic Collection taken near Newcastle, County Down, you can see a boy standing with a creel or basket on his back laden with potatoes. Depending on the abundance of the crop, some potatoes could be clamped using straw and soil. This was an efficient and cost-effective way of storing potatoes that weren't immediately required. Here we can see two men in a field clamping potatoes in Newcastle. Like the one before it, this photograph is from the Green Collection. Potatoes matured at an opportune time, providing vital sustenance to those who were working on the land. I really love this photograph taken by W.A. Green in County Antrim of an old woman in a field lying against a corn stack and having a meal of potatoes and buttermilk. The harvesting of grain largely occurred between August and September. Until the late 19th century, most of the grain harvesting was carried out by hand using reaping hooks and sickles. This photograph, again by W.A. Green, was taken in Toome, County Antrim. Here we can see that the reaper grasped a bundle of stalks in one hand and cut it with the blade held in the other. Later, horse-drawn reapers were used. Binders followed behind, collecting and tying the cut grain into sheaves. Another photograph by W.A. Green depicts this process in Toome. On the right of this photograph, you can see the women binders collecting the grain. Our farming team in the Outdoor Museum continue to use these traditional techniques on the land. The sheaves of grain were made into sticks to dry and then into stacks ready for threshing. This photograph from the Welsh collection was taken in Mount Stewart in County Down. The whole family and community helped with reaping the harvest. The cutting of the last sheaf was accompanied by a special ceremony. In this photograph taken in tomb from the Green collection, we can see five people in a field, three with sides, about to throw the sides at a corn stack in order to cut it. Once cut, the sheep was often decorated and hung above the table at a celebratory harvest meal called the churn or harvest home. Generally, the sheep remained in the home until the following harvest, when it was replaced by a new sheep. Here we can see the churn being hung above the table in a home in Tim from the Green Collection. In some areas, as part of the harvest celebration, small ornamental twists or knots of plaited straw were made and worn as a sign that the harvest had been completed. The more elaborate ones, usually with the corn ears still attached, were worn by the women, whilst the men wore simpler versions. In this photograph from the Welsh collection, you can see three of these harvest knots of varying design. Thank you for watching. We hope to bring you more collections related content soon.